In today's video, we're going to take a look at the brand new Adobe XD update for July 2020. If you're new here, my name is Kaler and I make design and Adobe XD related content. So every month Adobe XD rolls out an update and I like to cover that here on the channel so nobody misses anything new with the new update. This month we have a smaller update, so let's go ahead and dive into this month's update. The first new feature this month is the Learn tab. So here on the home screen of Adobe XD, we now have this Learn section, which has all of the Adobe XD videos for learning the program. There's different tabs up top for getting started, design, prototype, collaborate, and design systems. And you can go through and click on any one of these you're interested in learning, and it will link to a YouTube video or a blog post here. So that's a pretty cool thing they've added to the program for new users. The second new feature we have is folders for the cloud documents, which I think is really cool. So now we can add a folder. And if we have a larger project, we can add things to that folder. So I'm just going to move this blank file into there. And now and if I go into my test folder, I can have all of my files in here related to this project. So this is a really cool addition to help organize cloud documents. The last feature we have this month, again, it's part of the home screen here of Adobe XD, is social media artboard presets. So now you'll notice instead of the typical iPhone, tablet, and then web, we now have the tablet and the phone merged into one icon. So when we drop down, we get all of those. And then we have web, and now we have the social media presets. So if we want to create a Twitter post, we have the exact dimensions for the header. Same thing for Facebook, Instagram, and even YouTube videos. I'm a pretty big fan of this one to help speed up my workflow, so I'm really happy with these custom artboard sizes. So that's gonna do it for this update video. Three features for this home tab to help create better organization, learn a little bit about the program, and help create social media content. So I'd call this a pretty good update. I'll leave a link down to Adobe XD's blog post about this update down in the description if you guys would like to check that out. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe for more design and Adobe XD related content. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.